So it is the Amex Salvagens Hill power play. The big parts of this series. The number one penalty kill the Chiefs possess. Here's Manning, a shot, stop, rebound in front. They pulled into the boards. And the Chiefs, you air, starts ahead. Into the Bruins. Oh, look! Manning, D to D to Sunder. Again to Manning in his skates. He lost the handle. Look out, here's Johnson. He's got a short-handed break. Tyler Johnson in front. Oh, what a stop! Oh, centers it in front as they bang away. Another shot. Stop, rebound. McKinley now in front of the goal. Johnson is going to come in on the left wing. Johnson across. Cooper in tight and Gore slides across to make the save. Now Cowan into the middle, Steve Kuhn overskated it, gets it loose, so to Kitchen. He's going to walk in, fan on the backhand, still lose Gore with a stop at the side of the goal. They continue to bang away and the whistle blows, and they continue to scrum in front of Lucas Gore. Well, Lucas comes out of that with his mask off, and his right leg was planted against the post. As they continued to bang away with it, it looked like the whistle should have gone a little bit earlier, but Puck definitely never crossed the goal. Stops it behind the goal. Plays it around on the right wing. Kitchen sneaks in a shot in front. They score on the back door. And it's going to be Darren Kramer getting the goal. First poke can. Wide open in front of the net. Great read by Spokane to find him there. Easy tap in goal. And that definitely swings momentum in the Chiefs' direction. Their first shot on that power play. And it found the back of the net. Chiefs lead 1-0. Yeah, and there's just that vision right there by Brendan Kitchen. What a setup to Darren Kramer. That puck came around the wall. Kramer was in front of the goal, did not. Baldwin now a bad pass at center ice. McKinley is going to start in. He gets knocked down. And the fans wanted the call. Comes loose in the right corner. McKinley down the slot. A shot for a great score. It's all tied up at one as Forsythe snipes his first of the postseason. And I believe it was McKinley who got in there on the forecheck to force the issue in there. Take a look at this. Gogol involved as well, but it was McKinley digging out the puck, and it was the puck was on end. It was on its side, and that's probably why it went straight up into the top corner. And we noticed in the warm-up tonight, Randy, those <laughs> nets are so tight. That puck bounced out so quickly. It took the referee a few seconds to signal that that puck had crossed the line, but we do have ourselves a 1-1 tie. Those nets are... And the Bruins score an all-important goal to get this game tied back up. And here comes Culper. And he has got great speed in, but Gore says no. Now the Bruins, McGee, chips it ahead. And the Bruins have a two-on-one. Sunder and Crooks. Here comes Sunder. Walking to the middle. Crooks scores! It, two to one out of beauty and this building is alive bruisers sliding down the stairs everybody on their feet what a play by kevin sunder to make give himself and crooks some room and it was an easy tap in for jamie crooks the bruins strike twice in the span of just under a minute i believe it is and they lead this one two one you said it jb what a setup by sunder on that goal of the goal that's intercepted by Persley. Persley turns it over into the slot. A shot. Valcourt comes loose in front. Gore diving. An understatement right now for the Bruins. Now Johnson up a shot. That's stopped by Gore. Rebound into the slot. You air to Johnson. It scores. Tyler Johnson has tied the game at two. They came on in waves at the start of this third period. They had the man advantage. They did not let up, and the Bruins just could not get that puck out. They could not get line changes, and Tyler Johnson strikes 345 into this third period, and we've got ourselves a 2-2 hockey game. What a shot by Johnson right under the bar. And no chance for Lucas Gore, and it is a 2-2 game. 
Faceoff down in the Bruins zone. How important those faceoffs become now in this third period. 15.54 to go. Chiefs have just scored the tie to two. They win the draw. A shot poked wide of the Johnson battling. Comes free to Dominic Huber. He'll wind and shoot. Gore the save. And then the Chiefs as it head to Horak. The Bruins are in three on two. House is shot. That bounces off. And then Tyler Johnson's ahead of the play and he's gone. Here's Johnson in. Gore stops him. And then throws it out. Locked in the slot by Habshot. Now another shot. Blocked rebound. Einhorn somehow knocked it down. It's loose in front of the goal. Four. Johnson wins it back again to Kitchen. Kitchen is going to fire. And that's blocked. Crooks has a breakaway. Here's Jamie Crooks. Does he have enough left? Crooks in. He's hooked on the play. Robin Sudek. Turned it over now to Gall. A shot stick save made by Gore. And where's goal? Einhorn up the right wing. McKinley couldn't chip it out. Jarek Howen sneaking in. Rolls it in front. Gore's going to jump on. So to Gall. Gall gives it away to Mike Forsythe. Forsythe. He's going to walk in front of the net. For Gogol, not enough for icing. And the Chiefs out at center ice. Johnson gets it up now to Vanceport. He's going to cut in. Throws it in front of the goal. Goes off McKee's stick and they score. And it is over. Darren Kramer wins it for the Spokane Chiefs who take game number one. Well, a bit of a defensive breakdown in the center ice area led to that chance. And then Lucas Gore could only do so much. You can't expect him to make the second, third, four saves. And and, uh, you know, and earlier in this hockey game, I said Kramer was the most valuable seven goal scorer in this league. Well, he's added two more to that total here tonight. Uh, good performance by him. Great hockey game. Bad result for the home team. We get to do it all again tomorrow night. Darren Kramer, right place, right time. To Darren Kramer, the assistant number 19, Colin Valcourt, and to number 9, Tyler Johnson. Time of the goal, 10-minute mark. Spokane's Kramer from Valcourt and Johnson at 10 minutes. Shots on goal in the overtime period for your Chilliwack Bruins, zero for a four-period total of 24. For the Spokane Chiefs, six for a four-period total of 63. Fans, in just a moment, the Canucks three-star selection. And the first one, Gore! Well, I'm sure.